Final question for today. What is the structure of C6H12? Unfortunately, you see the answer right there. Um, so I do have another um, question for this, uh, which is going to be what type of um, what type of uh, what type of molecule is this? Yes. Okay. And name. Although they give the name as well from the answer. But the way you want to draw this out, right? You want to start with your carbons and hydrogen, okay? So C6. I just like drawing like that. Sorry, I like this better. Don't know how I can't draw these things. Okay, so that's C6 right there. And the way it works is that you want to make sure that um, the oxygen really could go anywhere, really. Because as soon as you put oxygen anywhere, every other part will have to be a hydrogen of what it can fit. So you can see here, it's going to be like that, like that, and then this is already taken. Okay, and you count all the greens are hydrogens, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this also is 6C6H12O, uh, okay? And this is um, an example of, I guess, when you have, what are they called? Structural iso isomers? Yes, yeah, structural isomers. Because we can either get ketones or aldehydes, okay? And the one they have here, where they have it drawn like this, okay? And they have the oxygen at the end, all right? And then they have the, hy the hydrogens bonded like that. Okay, still have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This right here is the aldehyde, okay? because and it's like that's type of molecule because the oxygen bond is at the end ketones the oxygen bond is inside the actual structure so in terms of the name actually um oops actually i'll leave like that actually in terms of the naming right they have the name of the aldehyde which is going to be like typically you see six carbons so i'll be hexane okay but instead of the ane you drop the E and add an AL there, okay? So you have hexanol. All right, so that will be the aldehyde name for that. Now for ketones, okay? Um, honestly, I do not remember how to name them, so I will actually have to um, ketone naming. So I do believe there is a specific way of doing it. Um, let's see. There we go. We can use a textbook. Um, <laughs> always refer back to the textbooks if you're ever unsure. So, ketones like that. They have the AL4 aldehydes. Now for ketones, uh, we have... There we go, ketones. It's going to end with O-N-E. So, we see it's just O and E at the end and you put it where um, the oxygen shows up and you try to get it as close to the, I guess, carbon, like where the number will be less. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. If you went the other way, it'd be on the fourth one. So this actual, the name for this would be three, still the same hexane part, okay? But instead of it being hexane it will be replaced E with a O and E so three hexanone so hopefully if I type that in three hexanone we would get yep C6 H12O now with this um, yep that is exactly what we've drawn here um, the thing is though is that this question um, I would say that this technically is correct because I do mention however other structures are possible but the thing I have to remember is that this is just one example of a ketone that you can form from that structure you can have a you can have the oxygen show up here here 
in here. So there's four more spots for the ketone, and it'll have each a different name, whether it's two. Uh, technically, you either have two hexanone or three hexanone, because once you get to these parts, like the five and the four, it will now be this as your new one at this end right here. Okay? So part of these are um, the really the only ones you can really get. But for hexanol, because the O is always going to be at the ends, you really just have hexanol, whether it's on one end or the other. So these are really like most of the possible uh, structures for this. Uh, there's probably other structures out there, which is why they're called structural isomers. And these are just examples of structural isomers for C6H12O. So. Um, it depends, honestly, the answer depends on um, what your professor is asking for. So I just watch out for that. When you're given just the um, the elements, like the not the actual name for it, it leaves a lot of possibilities to what it could actually be when you're just given the molecular uh, structure. I mean, well, the molecular name, C6H12. All right. So with that being said... Um, that is it for today. Uh, I just want to thank you again for joining us in this stream. Um, I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Um, and yeah, if you have any further questions, definitely check in the links in the description below. We're always here to help. And yeah, if you like the content, uh, keep checking it out. Uh, we'll just keep answering some more questions and hopefully we'll touch on the question that's been on your mind. All right. Um, have a great rest of your day.